माय सेल्फ अंकिता तिवारी फ्रॉम एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम आई सी आई टी आई टी आई सी डिपार्टमेंट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ सेशन फ्रॉम सब्जेक्ट दैट इज कंप्यूटर विजन सब्जेक्ट वॉट इज थ्री वन सेवन वन सिक्स वन फोर द मॉड्यूल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गवर इन दिस सेशन इज मॉड्यूल नंबर थ्री दैट इज द मॉड्यूल नेम इज फीचर डिटेक्शन द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गवर फॉर दिस सेशन इज कॉर्नर डिटेक्शन लाइन एंड कर्व डिटेक्शन सो बेसिकली स्टार्टिंग विद द लेवल ऑफ रीजनिंग विच वी आर स्टडिंग इन कंप्यूटर विजन is like images then pixels then edges then lines then objects and then scenes so right now what we are going to do that is pixels edges after that lines objects and scenes so basically we are going to learn about the various parameters the various detection techniques for the lines as well as the curves so starting with the lines why edges we can say edges are made up of with the respect of lines only but with respect to line they also have been made of curves so basically while edges and general curves that are suitable for describing the contours of natural objects we can say the man made world is full of straight lines so detecting and matching these lines can be useful in a variety of applications including the architectural modeling we can say pose estimation in urban environments as well as we can say the analysis of printed document layouts everywhere the detection and matching of these lines has been useful so we begin with some of the algorithms for approximating a curve means how to make an approximation with respect to the curve with respect to a line as a piece wise linear polyline so we then describe the hoop transform means it's a particular uh, scientist who had described it the transformation that is curve transformation line the transformation which can be used to group edges into line segments even across gaps and occlusions so first method that we have with with respect to hoop the the hoop transform is being uh, derived with respect to successive approximation so many techniques have been developed over the years to perform this approximation which is also known as earth line simplification one of the oldest we can say and the simplest we can say that is the one that proposed who recursively subdivide the curve at the point that is furthest away from the line that is joining the two line end points as shown in the figure as i'm going to show you after this so the hirschberger and the soining that is provide a more efficient implementation and also cite some of the other related work in this area so basically approximating a curve this is what the figure is that was i that i was talking about approximating a figure as shown in the black as a polyline or b spline curve so b spline is a type of curve we have two types of curves with respect to the properties b spline and bezier curves so b spline is having its own properties the same thing uh, bezier curves it's a, it is having the same, uh, some properties now b spline with respect to orthogonal uh, reflections or the orthogonal uh, stretching part the original curve and we can see a polyline approximation which is shown in red color as you can see here this is the approximation curve with respect to the successive approximation by respect to the recursive finding points and the uh, we can say with respect to that we can have successive approximation by recursively finding the see same line okay same line then another line then another line with respect to the color model that we have okay and then uh, joining the two of the end points okay and the smoothest that is interpolating means we have already seen the curve now all the lines have been interpolated with respect to the lines now making a curve shape in a smooth interpolation okay means uh, finding each and every point with respect to the two line segments and then with respect to that interpolating points uh, marking it and making a smooth curve fit into the polyline vertices so this is what with respect to we can say approximation now the hoof transform which is making use of this successive approximation so while curve approximation that we have already seen with the polylines that we have seen can often lead to successful line extraction which is lines in the real world are sometimes broken up into disconnected components or we can say made up of many collinear linear line segments so in many cases it is desirable to group such collinear segments into extended lines and at a further processing stage we can then group these such lines into collection with common vanishing points so we can see the hoop transform named after its original inventor that is hoop is a well known technique for having edges that is what for possible that is line locations so in its original formation we can say each edge point that is what for all possible lines through which 
through it and also we can say the lines corresponding to high accumulator or the bin values that is that is means wastage values are examined for potential line fits so basically unless the points on a line are truly punctuate means all the points which are we have put with like interpolation points we are putting it between the two line segments and joining the two points if it is truly punctuate a better approach is to use the local orientation information at each edge to vote for a single accumulator cell which is shown in the figure as described below so moving forward the original hop transformation that is a we can say here i have shown you at each point votes for a complete potential family of potential lines which is defined with the formula that is r of i theta is equals to x of i theta cos theta plus y of i sin theta now with respect to that we have a uh, two of the three of the interpolations as you can see x y is the point that is pixel value which is been put with the three of the points that is one is shown in the green uh, value one is shown in the red value and one is shown in the blue value now with respect to that i have shown you with an example of r now how this r that is the we can say the point lines each point which is defined with angle theta okay now theta is defined with respect to the two of the angles cos theta and sin theta so it is defined with the formula as well x of i cos theta plus y of i sin theta okay now with respect to that each of the three points will be uh, defined in the form of wave forms so here r okay then we have the zero value which is passing to the origin as well the smooth curve and the minus r max value which is being taken in the form of green color now these of the three points will be interpolated at a particular point in the graph itself so we will be locating these particular points at a particular box it a at a point that is x and y with respect to the formula okay so uh, same orientation of the hue transformation where an edgegal that is edgegal uh, Reparameterized in polar that is r and theta coordinates with respect to n vector. Okay, n is the vector which is perpendicular with respect to O that is origin. So n of i which is equal to cos theta of i comma sin theta of i, which is and we can say r of i which is equal to n of uh, i and dot x of i. So here b that is uh, the second of the orientation as you can see the same figure I have shown you, but with but with respect to the three of the angles that we have made. okay that is x y point with respect to r okay and the straight line with respect to h okay now this is being uh, parameterized with the three of the points now the waveforms which has been shown okay the three of the waveforms was meeting at a particular point so with respect to that point we have derived the three of the uh, parameters okay for the three of the edges that is red green and blue okay which is showing an array form okay so these are the forms that which, which is been created in hope transform so hybrid strategy we can say where each edge will vote for a number of possible orientations or we can say location pairs centered around an estimate orientation may be desirable in some of the cases so before we can vote for these line hypothesis we must first choose a suitable representation which i have already shown you as an example okay so figure shows a normal distance n with parameter as d for a line so since these lines are made up of edge segments we adopt the convention that is the line normal n n is the normal vector point in the same direction we can say that is having the same sign value as the image gradient that is j of x is equals to delta of i of x now with respect to that here we have been shown you the two line uh, equation expressed in terms of the normal n and the distance to the origin that is d okay so here i have shown you with an example with a line that uh, we have quadrant that is with respect to theta x and y axis and we have normal vector n which is perpendicular to the line l okay line l is defined to the line l n is n will be always perpendicular it's a normal vector which will be always perpendicular to the line which is defined we like joining the two of the uh, end points okay which which we can say as a line segment okay because whenever we are considering a line we always take the two end points joining the line so that it is being uh specified as it is a line okay and we are uh, taking it as in consideration as a line segment okay so this is what the 2d line equation is with respect to the form to obtain a minimal two parameter representation for a line we convert the normal vector into an angle okay what angle is the angle is defined with the range of possible that is theta d the values is minus 180 degree to 180 degree and which is being cross when cross product with the minus under root of 2 into uh, comma root 2 so this is the range assuming that we are assuming 
we are using normalized that is pixel coordinates that lie in minus 1 to 1 that is the range so given the line uh, parameterization the herb transform proceeds as shown in the algorithm i am showing you here but the theta which is defined method theta is equals to 10 inverse that is n inverse of n y upon x so this is the general formula for obtaining the range uh, or we can say converting the normal vector into an angle okay this is what the line parameterization is now with respect to that the procedure means now i am uh, showing you the algorithm that we have for the new which is defined procedure x y and theta okay so first clear the accumulator array because we have to put it okay means ac as we are doing in uh, we have already seen this accumulator clear accumulator cia okay now for each detected agile at point location that is xy and the orientation that is theta we have already defined that is theta is equals to 10 inverse of n by upon nx okay we will be computing the value of what we will be computing the value of distance that is d so x and x plus y and y is the distance with respect to x and with respect to y and increment the accumulator corresponding to theta d okay theta you have pointed out with respect to theta also so angle will be changed with means angle should be incremented so the, it will be theta d now find the peaks in the accumulator corresponding to the lines as well and after that optionally means it is optional refit the lines to the constituent edges so with respect to that this is the procedure okay step by step first clearing the accumulator second for each edge that is detected edge that we have find it out at location x and y means point and orientation that is theta that is theta is equal to 10 inverse of n y upon n x we will compute the value of p which is defined with x n x plus y n y that will be the calculation with respect to the two of the parameter x and y and increment the accumulator corresponding to theta d now finding the peaks in the accumulator corresponding to the lines and then optionally refit the lines to the constituent edges so these are this is the procedure that we have four steps that we are need to follow with taking the value of parameter as accumulator okay so we are taking the data in accumulator that is a now the procedure that we are using is that a procedure group where we are defining the two of the parameters x and y and the theta angle which is being defined in a particular array that is x and y axis with respect to the theta and the normal vector n okay normal vector will be always perpendicular to the line segment which is joining the two of the points of a particular line which will be specifying the line okay so this is what the thing is with respect to herb transformation we need to make two notes of it okay note that the original formulation formulation we can say that we have already put of the hoof transform which assume no knowledge of the adult uh, orientation that is theta has an additional loop inside the step two so that step that we already see means additional means the edge orientation theta that we are finding with respect to the theta that is theta is equal to 10 inverse of na nx upon ny so the same thing will be applied to here as an additional loop for the step two that iterates over all possible values of theta because what we have written in this step two and then increment the value with theta d okay so that we will be iterating means we have to iterate it over all the possible values of theta and increments of whole series of accumulators okay incrementing it then updating it then incrementing incrementing it and then updating it so this you have to do it fit till all the possible values of theta have been applied and the series have been generated of the accumulator as well now there are a lot of details in getting the hope transform to work well but this the thing that we have seen these are the best worked out by writing out an implementation and also testing it out on a sample data so these are the things that we need to keep in mind and always we have to uh, uh, form the uh, formation of the hue of transform where the theta has been defined where the angle has been defined with respect to the uh, the two of the parameters has been defined so these are the parameters that we have to keep in mind whenever we are doing the calculation with respect to x and y and with respect to the d that we have already find with the normal vector n so these are the things that we need to keep in mind for the hope transform, transformations and which has been applied for a particular uh, orientation with respect to theta and with the edges to make the curve and we have also seen the v spleen curves properties which i have already discussed so these are the things that we have discussed so long and here today uh, we have co completed with the line detection that is hope transform the other transformations we will be going to study in the next session after this thank you Thank you.